it finally snowed again. So it's time for another Snow Sweet video. Today I'm going to show you a real simple winter treat that you can make. And some of you might remember that a certain little girl who grew up as a pioneer some of the time in Wisconsin made the same kind of candy. Yep, I'm talking about Laura Engels Wilder. And of course, I'm going to be making maple syrup candy today. Um, or maple syrup snow taffy, as some people call it. It's a very simple recipe. There are lots of different variations out there. Um, but the one I'm going to do is simply boiling uh, pure maple syrup and till it gets to a nice rolling boil and then I'm going to pour it on top of some fresh snow and the the heat mixed with the coal is going to make a nice little sticky taffy candy. Um, so let's get started. The simplest method is to have a little saucepan and your maple syrup and if you're lucky and you own a candy thermometer that would be helpful too. I don't have one of those, so we're just gonna um, kind of eyeball it. But I'm gonna turn the stove top on. I'm gonna add some syrup to my pan. Now, you only wanna add as much as you think you're gonna make and eat at one time. This maple syrup candy does not keep well. It's not like you know, a butterscotch candy that you buy at the store and it will stay solid. Um, once it heats up again, it's going to liquefy again. So you want to only make what you can consume at one go. Um, and I'm going to start out on high heat, but I'm going to watch it carefully because I don't want it to burn. Get a spoon out so that I can Stir it as it starts to boil. Again, we just want it to get heated up. I don't want it boiling like a rapid boil like you're gonna boil noodles. I just want a nice little steady so that the syrup gets nice and hot and a little bit thicker and then uh, we will put it on our snow and see what happens. I'm going to turn off the heat and let it stop boiling. Just let it cool for a minute or two. Um, however long it takes for it to stop bubbling. And then here is my cake pan of fresh snow. And we're gonna pour it in there and see what happens. Okay, got my nice hot syrup. And I'm gonna pour it on the snow. Maybe I'll start over here. And it's going to, you know, it indents right into the snow. I'm going to maybe see what happens if I do. These pieces over here really went straight to the bottom of my pan. So I don't know if that quite worked. I'm going to try pack it down with my spoon first. So I think maybe I need a little bit of harder pack, snow pack. So I think the snow might be a little too fluffy. Okay, so my first attempt, the syrup was still a little too hot and it just melted straight through the snow. <laughs> so it didn't quite work out. So I waited a few minutes and then I tried it again and that worked a little bit better. So now I've waited for about five full minutes after boiling and the syrup is still definitely warm, but I'm gonna try again. Then I'm gonna pour slower onto the packed snow and then I'm gonna like push it together kind of make these little candy drops. So again, this is a treat that you're gonna enjoy right away. And the colder the snow is, the better it works to make these taffies. Um, 
I think my syrup is still just a little too hot. Um, so it's melting right in. It's definitely an experiment, um, but kind of fun. Uh, take the kids outside and, and try this, even in like a deep snowbank. <laughs> or it might even work, you know, if you wait a day or two after the snowfall, a little bit better because I think the snow will be denser and more compact. So then I think that'll work. But if I take a piece right here, this one that I just made about a minute or two ago. It's not cold enough in my house for it to solidify it right up. But it's good. It's basically like eating solid maple syrup. Um, so go ahead and give snow maple taffy a try. Um, love to see if any of you made it or tried it and how it turned out for you. Again, lots of different recipes out there, different kinds of syrups used. Um, some people have some add-ins that they do. Um, I think it takes a little bit of practice to perfect, um, but it was fun to try. And I hope you all are warm and cozy and safe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.